All right. So the majority of people, when they purchase a house or they're looking to get into home purchasing, should I say, they're looking for a single family home, typically because they want to have their own yard. They want to have their own um, house that's separated from other people. But sometimes that's not possible. Single family homes usually are more expensive than town homes and condos. Town homes and condos do have some great amenities. And some of them, you know, they have a very low cost, but should always really take a deep dive into the association. I just had a deal that we were about to close and fell through because of the association. So today, I just want to talk a little bit about how they, how, which is about the story about what happened. Um, be aware of when that 40 year inspection is because that may surface a couple of things. So you might want to buy after the fact and certain um, because here in South Florida, things have gotten very strict with insurances and what happened with Surfside in terms of inspections, you want to look at violations as well. So in this specific case, there was a violation a couple of years ago, and the violation was for a roof that leaked, which is considered unsafe, especially if water's getting into them. Now the association came and they fixed it temporarily, and it's not legally done yet right so you have to go through the, the process of getting it legally permitted and because of that the 40-year inspection happened and now the it's being flagged as if there is an unsafe structure in the association and they will not lend so we've gone through a couple banks uh on that side when the when the buyers went ahead and out ordered those condo docs and we spoke to the management company it has to be a cash deal so that just reduces the pool of buyers that you have as a seller when when that happens. And you as a buyer, you want to make sure you know that as much, uh, you know, in advance as much as possible. In this case, no one knew. No one knew that this was going to affect it because there was just a closing a couple months ago. And that closing wasn't affected by it. And then it was to, that one I did. After that one, because it came up with a 40 inspection, it was it was flagged and therefore the banks could not lend. So it's good. You definitely want to look for when is the 40 year inspection, right? Just look at the year that it's built and all that. Uh, any violations, especially if they're unsafe, you want to know that ahead of time because your unit might be perfect, which was our case. Absolutely perfect. Great, big, ample unit. But there was an association unit over there that isn't currently leaking, but it did have an unsafe structure violation. And you want to see the budget, the budget as well. So if there's no reserves, what's called, or there's a special assessment coming up, then the banks will also be, um, will have different restrictions on lending. So those are the things that as a buyer and as a seller, you might want to keep in mind so you can be as informed as possible. Because as a seller, you don't want to go through this whole process, make moving um, plans, and then at the end it fall. As a buyer, you don't want to spend the money through all these inspections, appraisals, all this stuff, and then it not close at the at the end. So that's it for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave me a comment. See if there's any thoughts on what you think about associations or if there's anything else that you might add uh, to keep in mind before you purchase an association. All right, that's it for this video. Take care.